Who burned down Tedrasil? For some time, we thought it may be Greymane or possibly even War Chief Lady Sylvanas. But today, we have proof that it was neither of those. Stick around and find out who did this awful thing. If you want to fill your pockets with gold, be an expert in any profession, and dominate the battle for Azeroth, hammer that subscribe button and slam on that bell icon for instant updates. Now, I do want to go ahead and give a warning that this video may contain spoilers, so if you have no interest in knowing what Battle for Azeroth holds for our future, be sure to click away now and check another video found in the card above. But before you do, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Now, Jaina Proudmore was at one point thought to be the guilty party, but players quickly dismissed Jaina Proudmore as having done such an awful thing. However, I now believe that we have, without a doubt, the proof that it was undeniably Jaina Proudmore who did this. Jaina Proudmore, in addressing the Karen tour, said, Will you act when Tedrasil falls? When they are burning a world tree? Will you act then? What will it take for you to see that they are evil? Now, this happened, of course, right after the fall of Theramore. And her goal was to have the Carantor destroy, with magic, the entire city of Ogamar and all but are in it. Jaina Proudmore has a deep hatred for the whole horde, and she will stop at nothing to destroy them, even if that means framing the horde for burning the world tree, Tedrasil. Throughout Legion, Jaina was missing. She left in a fit of anger when the Carantor started to work with the horde. Where's she been? Now, I feel that she's been rallying help from within the Alliance and possibly from Rapion. Otherwise, why would she have disappeared so abruptly and stayed gone throughout the whole Legion expansion? Let's take a look at a few whispers from Ilganoff. Her heart is a crater, and we have filled it. Now, Theramore was reduced to a crater of nothing but rubble, and the old gods have filled her heart with vengeance, revenge, and hatred, even more than what we ever thought possible. And in the next whisper, it says, Its surface burns bright, masking shadows from below. Now, the surface that burns bright would, in my opinion, be Tedrasil burning. And the shadows that it masked would be the betrayal of Jaina Proudmore. Now let's take a look at what Verimathrius said to the Horde and to the Alliance. So, your Alliance still indoors, longer than I expected. Though she has already planted the seeds of its downfall. She is patient, that one. When your thrones run red with betrayal... When your holy places burn, and a shattered mask hangs above your hearth, then only will you know, and it will be too late. It matters not, you're blind to the true darkness closing in around you. And to the horde, he says, So, she has found me at last, and sent her underlings to finish the job. Tell me, when she sees your throne of hide and bones. Was your allegiance forced? No. I'd wager you surrendered willingly, or were convinced that you did. It matters not. You're blind to the darkness in your midst. Now, there are a few questions that, that comes to mind here, and the first one would be, should we trust Barimathrius? And the answer, yes, I feel we definitely should trust him and that what he's been telling us has been truthful. 
even though the words may be a bit confusing to a degree. Now, I'll be doing a separate video on what Bear Matrius has said, as well as the whispers of Ilganoff, and how Jaina Proudmore is the answer to all of this. So stick around for that video in the days to come. Why do I believe, the second question that comes to mind, why do I believe that it is now undeniably Jaina Proudmore who betrays the Alliance and frames the Horde? Well, back in Mist of Pandaria, which was in 2012, when Theramore was mana-bombed, destroying Theramore and creating a crater of rubble, this is when Jaina Proudmore thought it was wise to go to the Carantor and ask that they destroy Ogamar. When they were not eagerly in agreement with Jaina, the question came to mind was, will you act when Tedrasil falls? When they are burning a world tree, will you act then? What will it take for you to see that they are evil? Now this was six years ago, and yet it seems that Jaina had foreseen the fall of Tedrasil. Now I don't believe in any way that Jaina was able to see six years into the future, which leaves us with only one logical answer. And that answer is that Jaina, even back in Mist of Pandaria, was planning how she would frame the Horde and betray the Alliance. To me, this is the only logical choice, and I know there's going to be a lot of those out there who believe Jaina is by far not guilty and could never do such a thing. If you're one of those who supports Jaina, let me know in the comment section below why you feel that she could never do this. If you're a Horde member who believes that Jaina is the reason, Tell me why you feel that she she did this. What was her reasoning? Was it all because of the Theramore mana bombing? Could she really hold a, a grudge and a hatred that long and that, that deep? That she would wait six years to strike? Do you agree that Jaina is the betrayer of the Alliance and the one who framed the Horde for burning Tedrasil? Do you think that it was somebody else? If so, who? Let me know in the comment section below. Now be sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day. I'll see you soon in Azeroth.